Good evening and welcome to Green Acres Tough Titty Cat House build. Um, I'm getting this uh, fungus out of me. I'm starting to feel a lot better. Um, I did some stuff this morning that was more errand oriented. Got some chicken feed and stuff. Came out here kind of late. I picked up this kid, Jaden. Big ups to Jaden. Jaden come out, gave me a hand out here. <coughs> Uh, so, um, the other day I went with Jake up the mountain to grab some pallets and these pallets have six foot pieces of uh, wood on them. So that made it uh, nice for me to harvest a couple of those pieces of uh, wood today and finish out the uh, fascia for the second tier and uh, install some fascia on the cupola and did some paper up there as well so this side of this is done as far as like with the paper except for the the second tier um but as far as like the roofing and everything the roofing's done on that part um i said it yesterday on that video i was going to get up here and flash this window out and you can see it's not it's not done but it'll get done soon, tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and then yesterday in the video, I talked a little bit about this um, um, this widow's peak. But it wasn't that visible in the video, so it didn't make for good video. But that's a widow's peak there. And below that widow's peak, I'm going to install... I'm gonna put a uh, opening up here for an exit or an entrance or whatever, and then a perch. So there'll be a perch up under there. So if the cats wanna come out and perch up there high and chill out, whatever, that's an option that they have. Um, also, I, yesterday I installed um, a door frame. Uh, we went up the, when we went up the mountain to get the pallets, the guy had a bunch of uh, I think they're 16 foot two by six um, weathered uh, I think it's um redwood maybe it's pretty hard stuff um, and it's just nice and weathered and, and uh, I decided I'm kind of glad I waited and didn't go ahead with with uh, starting on the outside because this is a really awesome wood let's go around here follow me we'll take a look um, but yeah it turned out this is just perfect for what we're doing so I installed that jam or that frame in there yesterday this is the wood and I've got a lot more of this right here so I mean this is really awesome we love this feel and uh, yeah we'll be taking off with that pretty soon but I'm glad to be getting most of the fascia done and be done with that and get those last couple soffits in and um, wrap that whole thing up so we can literally get this thing, you know, uh, finished and get it all sexy looking. Um, the plan is to install a light here, and that'll be a red light. And then over here on the Widow's Peak, there's also going to be a red light. Which would be pretty awesome. If if I can't put one, I'll put two, and just kind of shine them onto the um, onto the perch that'll be up there. But I think it's going to be a really neat look when we get done with that. So we're getting back on track with things. Um, I don't know if I'm getting on track with the sun to my back, and it's just making me look like somebody Sambo. But hey, okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> that should be better for you. Um, thank you for joining us. Sorry we've been absent. We're getting better. We're getting back out here. Um, the videos are going to be coming. Um, I'm working on a YouTube channel as well. Um, that is going to be slow in the making, so don't look, you know, anytime soon for that to happen. But, um, we're going to get back to the videos. We'll be doing the postings. Images will be coming. Everything will be coming. As long as you guys keep coming back, we're good to go. Thank you for viewing. Thanks for stopping by. Join us tomorrow for some more video action at the Tough Titty Cat House build.